Hey Wet Shavers, today we're using the twig from Leaf Shave, Citrus Blast from WSP, and the Satin Tip the Purest Synthetic Brush, coming up next. Hey guys, so today, Citrus Blast from WSP. I actually don't think they make this anymore. I took a quick look this morning and I couldn't find it on their website. That's actually pretty sad because this is a magnificent scent. I got this uh, a couple of years back, but uh, you know, going through all my stock to uh, make some videos and I thought I'd choose this one today. It's nice and hot outside and good day for a citrus scent. This smells like a pure orange drink to me. It's got a blend of orange and lime uh, it is their vegan uh, shaving soap. This was before they came out with the uh, the Formula T line, the tallow line of their soaps, which is also excellent, and I have a bunch of those as well. But this smells like fruit juice, like Sunny D, um, like a vitamin C tablet, like just pure citrus. It is fantastic. I love this scent, and it gets even better once it gets wet. So looking forward to using that today. Today's brush, Satin Tip, the purest. Um, this is an odd brush offering in the in the marketplace um, very light you know your initial reaction to it seeing it is not very good it's a uh, boring handles black and black um, it's got the writing satin tip the purest I've used this brush quite a bit and the handle has not held up well it's all scratched and the and the, uh, the coating starting to come off in certain places I traveled with it quite a bit the one good thing about it is and I think I have that back here should have had this out of front, but uh, they give you the brush in a tube and you know, literally goes inside and is absolutely excellent for traveling. So that's very convenient. This brush is an excellent performer. You know, it's one of those that you don't expect it to be very good because your first impression is not very good, but performance wise, outstanding. Love it. You know, it's got a reasonable backbone. I think it's a 22 millimeter knot, not 100% sure, but very good. Love it. Today's razor. The Twig by Leaf Shave. So this is um, the second razor that uh, tw uh, Leaf Shave came out with. So I managed to uh, get on the Kickstarter for this one. So I was one of the first to receive it. And um, I am, I love this razor. This work, razor works excellent. I also have the Leaf, as you know, and you've seen in my other videos. Um, but this one is fantastic. So basically it's a, almost like a TTO razor. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, like a TTO razor, so it's twist in the opposite direction, so it's righty loosey, not lefty loosey, righty tighty. Um, and it goes up like that, and then you insert the blade. So basically, today we're going to use a, a feather blade. So basically, all you do is you kind of just snap the blade in half. pull the blade out. So if you've never snapped the DE blade in half, you end up with uh, a section with a little bit of a curve towards the bottom where you, where you bent it. Um, I prefer to put that downwards. You can put it upwards depending on you know how close you get to uh, different sections of your face. Uh, you may scrape yourself because that would be exposed underneath the, the covering. So I prefer to put it downwards just in case it impedes the closing of the, uh, of the razor. So, and then we just kind of close it down like this. And nicely revealed there. Um, now, I think they did this on purpose. So like I said, it, it is reversed. So if you make the normal tightening motion, it actually uh, opens it up and the loosening motion tightens it down. But when you're holding it, the tightening, normal tightening motion towards the right does tighten the razor. So it's almost like you can hold it like this and kind of give it a quick tighten to make sure it hasn't loosened up during the shave. Um, so that's pretty convenient. I think that's an ingenious design. If they did, on, if they did that on purpose, kudos. That's, that's a great little feature. I like it. So, all right. I'm going to refocus the camera, first of all. I'm going to wet my head and then we'll add that soap. Right, a couple of dips in the hot water, squeeze the brush out of the tips. Try tip squeezing if you haven't, if you've been a sh brush shaker, try becoming a tip squeezer. You might find it works better for you. WSP soaps are excellent. 
I've always enjoyed them. The scents have been excellent. The performance has always been great. I never did pick up any of their aftershaves, but being in Canada, that's always been a bit of a problem for us, but we've had new retailers now that have begun to solve that for us, which is great. Doing a great job. Feel the weight of the soap in the brush, that's good. All right, let's take the slop that landed on my hands. Nice brush to hold. Handle is pretty convenient. Lather it gets nice and thick for a vegan soap. I always gravitate towards the tallow varieties, but I think recently they've started to get really good, and this is one from I guess a couple of years back, and it's still very, very good. It's excellent. Nice cushion, beautiful scent. There you go. A little bit of scent into the nose. Very nice. That looks a bit foolish. Let's take that off. <laughs> I certainly do that <clears throat> when I'm alone, so. Absolutely excellent. Twig with the feather blade. First pass with the grain. The twig fits in all the nooks and crannies and is, is it is extremely intuitive. I don't know how to describe this, but I feel like this razor makes better surface contact than a typical safety razor. It, uh, it's excellent. And the, with the feather blade, it's just tearing through everything. Got about a day's growth. This razor is also very popular with the ladies. The ladies enjoy detail shaving their, their nether regions and their legs and all those sorts of things. So there are a lot of ladies who are a fan of this razor as well. Probably would make a good gift for them guys if you're, if you're looking. Make sure you also consider the leaf. So I haven't done a dedicated video for the leaf yet, but uh, I will. And it is also excellent. Very nice. Very little pressure required. Quick shave, you could probably stop. Gotta rinse.
Pins up. We'll be back for pass two. Pass two. Lots of lather in the brush. Quite pleased. Haven't used this brush in a while. Or the soap. I figured let's make a video with all the gear that I have before going too crazy buying new stuff. I'm sure all of these soaps have been thoroughly reviewed in the past, but another perspective never hurts. Second pass, across the grain. Feather's doing really well in here today. Excellent shave. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, the surface contact of this razor just seems to be superior to a standard double edge. I'm not sure how to explain it. Like these razors have really made it easy for, for somebody who doesn't want to take the learning curve um, for a double edge, you know, they can certainly, uh, you know, buy one of these razors, benefit from the pricing of double edge blades, call it a day. It's one of those razors. It's fantastic. All right, I'm going to do a third pass. stopped after two. That was really, really good. Wow, it's actually not catching a lot. at all. Like it, very, very smooth. If you have the opportunity to try the twig, do it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Seriously. Ridiculous. Whew. All right, I'm gonna rinse up and we'll clean up the beard. Not much cleanup required today, but. Thank you. 
the citrus smell off this soap is really good. It's excellent. Very pleasant. I really hope they didn't discontinue it. I don't see it on their website right now. But maybe they did. If somebody knows for sure, maybe you can comment below and let me know. Excellent. All right, we're gonna clean up and be back for the post shave. That was epic. My head is so smooth right now. That is crazy. Post shave, Let's mix it up a little bit today. There's lemon witch hazel. Very nice, even though it's an astringent, it doesn't really bite at all actually. Very nice. After shave, Son of Zeus by Razor Rock. It's got an orange base with a bit of a musky note to it. I love this stuff. It's actually one I got it recently and it's become one of my real favorites. It is an epic, epic scent. Fortunately, the, the soap has been sold out. But when it comes in, I think I'll have to grab it. It is just a beautiful scent. Top coat, Geo Trumpers, uh, extract of limes. Skin food, that's what I meant to say. Literally, tiny drop. You put too much, it'll get slippery. I don't know if skin food is underrated or overrated. All I know is it goes on a little slimy but then 15 minutes afterwards, your skin feels fantastic. It really does. Beard balm today. Always bearded, beard cream, eucalyptus and lime, plus distilled pine scotch. It's the only kind of lime or citrus type um, beard cream that I have. Getting towards the end, should buy some more. That's it, gents. Thanks for joining me again today. OJ Shaves. The Twig Razor, Citrus Blast by WSP, and Son of Zeus Aftershave. Please like, share, and subscribe. There's a lot of you who are watching or aren't subscribed yet, so please subscribe and support the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.